Le plan de coordination parentale est un outil inestimable. Dans sa conférence, Matthew Sullivan nous explique comment, même si votre réunion n'a pas fonctionné, vous pouvez toujours réussir à élever vos enfants dans l'harmonie. The parenting plan is the ultimate tool to help co-parents deal with a number of difficult questions. In his address, Matthew Sullivan explains how, even though your marriage didn't work, you can still raise your children in harmony. I spent my professional career working in family law with high-conflict co-parents. An amazing evolution, which I think that uh, socio-culturally, legally, we haven't caught up with, from a, an assumption about primary custody going to moms, uh, typically to, to shared custody. And that's 2006, and I would think in the last 11 years, we're looking at predominantly shared custody as the presumption. After separation and divorce, families restructure from nuclear families to binuclear families. It creates a structural change that, um, that creates challenges. There has to be things going on in both uh, homes that are adequate to raise kids, and then there has to be something going on between the homes. And that's a tall order for a subset of our, of our co-parents. This is one of my favorite cartoons. I understand it's a category five divorce. This is uh, what the family courts look like and what happens in those courts. The civil litigation context is just ill-suited for these kinds of situations. Petitioner, respondent, I was in a uh, trial <laughs> last week and when they start saying petitioner respondent I can't keep, I don't even know who they are you know it's like dad and mom right basic problems in the court delayed outcomes you want a trial in, in Santa Clara County you want a hearing six months I can tell you nothing's good is going to happen during those six months the expense uh, and the resources obviously are, are problematic co-parenting is till death do you part Whether your marriage obviously didn't last, your co-parenting will last. And if you have a model um, that assumes that there is a dissolution where, where um, the parties involved in that litigation will no longer have a partnership, then who cares whether you create carnage you know, in the process? Things don't wait. Kids don't wait for decisions to be made. They need to get into camp. They need to get into school. They need to have medical care. So co-parenting and then why parenting coordination makes sense. There are two factors that are relevant. One is the level of engagement that the co-parents have, and one is the level of conflict that they have when they engage. Conflict is the toxic factor. De-escalation is by not allowing them to engage in a way that keeps the fires burning of conflict. My co-parents that I work with in parenting coordination, the only way that they engage with each other are two ways, email and in my office. And you are the, the peacekeeping contingent, right? These folks, if they're allowed to, will engage in conflict. So I am actively keeping them from engaging Alternative dispute resolution should become dispute resolution. We still work in the context of a legal framework, and I think the part of what we need to be doing is, um, is shifting that around. There is a, there is a component for the, for the legal adversarial system, but it shouldn't be the context in which everything else, um, uh, we're trying to shunt people. Um. And my home, AFCC, what a great, place to, uh, to get sustenance, to get new information, to have a, um, a supporting uh, family. I am president-elect, so you can hear that in my endorsement, but uh, <laughs> thank you very much. La coordination parentale ne peut que vous aider. Un bon plan est essentiel. Trouvez toute l'information à ce sujet dans la conférence complète disponible sur notre site web. Parental coordination can help you, and a parenting plan is key. Find out all about it in the complete conference available on our website. <music>